the world. Um, today I have some quite exciting news. Um, I got an iPod Touch recently, and I'm going to be using that as my main camera. As you can see, the quality and the audio of my films are much better now. So, enjoy this review on my wooden puzzles. Alright, let's start off with this. This here is basically just your ordinary puzzle cube. And literally, it's a puzzle cube. And you take apart all the pieces, then rearrange them so they'll fit back into this cube. This is a pretty easy puzzle, one of the first puzzles I've actually ever been exposed to. Because when I was in elementary school, um, in library time, we'd have something called centers. And you'd basically walk around from station to station playing with all these little knick-knack puzzle-like things. And this was one of them. And I basically knew how to solve this since first grade. So, when I received this, a pack of six puzzles, uh, I already knew how to solve this. And it's kind of easy, too. So, I like it a lot. Next here is the six-piece burr. It's a pretty cool puzzle. Uh, it offers quite a big challenge. Uh, offers quite a big challenge to beginner puzzlers. I recommend it a lot if you're just starting out on a puzzle collection. And um, it took me quite a while to figure this out, but I received one of these types of puzzles when I was, oh, I don't know, maybe. Seven. Yeah, I got it in like a Brain Busters pack of wooden puzzles. And then I got a second one, and I sold my original one, because this one's much better. And the solution is quite easy. You can see I'm solving it right now. And there, I just solved it while I was talking, so... Um, that just goes to show you that I've been around this puzzle for quite a while. Next here is the snake cube. Now from the outside, it basically looks like a wooden Rubik's Cube. The 30th an anniversary edition. But, if you guess that, you are wrong. Because this here is a snake cube. Snake cube looks like a regular 3x3, but it doesn't move, it folds. Right here, here. Now, I, as an intermediate puzzler, even had a little bit of difficulty trying to figure this thing out. So, yeah. Uh, if you're good with puzzles, this is definitely one that you should want to add to your collection. I'm not trying to like advertise anything, I'm just saying this is a good puzzle. Cause you know, I'm just saying get this, get that, get this, get that. No. I'm just saying that these puzzles are good quality. And they're really fun. Anyway, uh this is the snake cube. I really enjoy it a lot. Um Sometimes I'd show it to my friends, and they'd say, Hey, that's just a regular 3x3, three three. you know how to solve that. And I'd say, Yeah, try turning it. And they'd be like, Hey, it doesn't turn, it folds. I'm like, Yep, it's called Snake Cube. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for the Snake Cube. I went to the Chinese Diamond. Now, this here is a quite intricate puzzler that um, I accidentally took apart about a month ago. And I couldn't really find a solution online. And I couldn't really figure a solution out myself. So, uh, thanks to those like three-dimensional uh, visualizations of these wooden puzzles, I was able to figure it out. So, yeah. Uh, I forget the name of the video. I forget who made the video, but whoever you are helped a lot but anyway this is quite a tough puzzle 
and I recommend it to anybody who's looking for a great challenge. Next, right here, is probably the most easy puzzle anybody in this world is more than likely to come across. This puzzle has only three steps. One, locate the little twig thingy that moves, which would be this one. Then, pop out the ball, and voila, it's solved. This is the most basic puzzle I've ever even seen. And I do not recommend this to anybody unless you are a three-year-old that is beginning a puzzle collection. That's how basic this is. Now this, I have no idea what this is. This is the last puzzle that came in that six-piece set that I was tell that I was talking about earlier. Oh snap! What I do? Snap! 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 snap, snap, snap. Oh dang it! Well, just goes to show you. Here's another puzzle that I need to solve. Or learn how to solve. But I'll give it a whack when I'm not filming. Oh dear. That just goes to show you if you get a puzzle that you don't know how to solve, don't try messing with it during a video. Anyway, I have no idea how that even worked. And I had no idea how to take it apart until about five seconds ago. So yeah, the, that was the sixth puzzle in that set of six wooden puzzles that I got. Um, now on to the last one, which is the 21-piece burr. This here is basically just a larger version of this. Because this and this... Comet puzzle. This is the comet. This is the 3D cross. They are basically the exact same thing. This one has more pieces though. So basically, if any of you know how to solve this, you should know how to solve this. So, I guess that is basically it. Um, thank you guys for watching this quite long and briefly interrupted video. This is my iPod Touch, to the downside of the great video and audio quality, has no tripod. So, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.